Yeah, this is going to be part three of our flashlight tutorial. And in this portion, we are going to be adding as well, just adding a light to our flashlight and setting its location and rotation properly so that we can, well, that it simply acts like a flashlight. So from the previous part, we already saw that we attach it to our hand. We got it exactly where we wanted it. But we also changed the origin. So since we changed the origin, we need to go ahead and move down the socket location. So find your flashlight mesh, double click it, and we'll get to here. Slow this down a little bit. And we're just going to lower it right back down. So just above the flashlight itself. And save. So now we can go ahead and create our light component. So if you look here, we already have our new spotlight component created. So we just need to alter it. Well, add a spotlight component to our flashlight. So light equals create default sub object view spotlight component. And we need to give it a name. I'm going to call mine just Spotlight Component. Now, if you recall from the previous portion, I said we need to set up the attachment. So, Light Set Up Attachment Root Component. So, let's go ahead and just build it just to get started. And from here, we have our light created on our flashlight, but you will see here how it's pointing. It's kind of angled straight left, and it's at more so where our hand is than anything. So it's not at the end where we created our socket. The one thing we can do, and I'm actually going to show you an example real quick. We can't do this in the constructor. We need to do this on begin play once the light's already created. So I'll just show you what happens when we do it in the constructor. Uh, let's just go ahead and get the socket location. So F vector socket location equals mesh component get socket location and then the name of our socket which was light underscore socket if you remember from here. and then move the light to it. So light, set location, we want it to be relative, socket location. Then go ahead and build. When we press E, the exact same result. It has not moved. But once we actually have it on begin play and everything is set up so we can get the correct location, and then we try it, you can see it's moved forwards and the light source is coming directly out of the front there where we actually had our socket. So that's just a random note if you sometimes have issues with something that should be working but isn't. If you're doing the constructor, try it and begin play. So now we need to actually set its rotation. So we can do the exact same thing that we did here, but for the rotation. Because as you saw, this was pointing directly at ourselves. So change this to rotation. Change the type to F rotator and socket rotation. Now just to save some time, I'm going to do light set relative location and rotation socket location socket rotation. And this will still have a slight issue. So our position is going to be correct, but our rotation is going to be slightly off. As you will see, pointing at ourselves, 
The one thing that we can do is it's F8. Yep. We can take that position that is pretty much pointing kind of straight up, and we can roll it downward. If that makes sense. So that way it's pointing straight out. What we can do is socket rotation dot pitch. We're going to increment that up by 90. And this should have it to where it's pointing straight out. So we press E. It's no longer pointing straight at ourselves. And it's pointing just where our light is going. Just like so. I'll see against the wall. As you can see, that's pretty much how we want it. We can also actually make that a little bit brighter. That's kind of dull. So in the constructor, light, set brightness. That's what 5000 does, because I'm not sure what the default is. And press E. Alright, that is way more, just a lot dimmer. 50,000. Alright. 500,000. Eh, that's better, but we can adjust that all later on, because as you can see, it's really bright up close. But as you get onto the ground, I think just the cone itself is too wide. We probably need to bring that in a fair amount. The light's more focused onto one area instead of being spread around like that. But we will do that in another video, because I'm just going to keep this one short. So for this portion, what we did was... We created a use spotlight component onto our flashlight itself. Then we set the attachment up with our root component. There we just went ahead and altered the brightness as you saw, just to make it easier to see. And then we used we wanted to set the relative location to our socket. We didn't want the world location or anything like that. We wanted it the position pretty much of just the flashlight within itself, if that makes any sense. I don't know a good way to explain relative locations. But we just set the rotation and the location to our socket. And just due to the rotation issue that we had, we just incremented the pitch by 90 to give it just to where it's pointing straight out and following the actual direction of our light. That way, whichever way it's pointing, that light is going to be following along directly just like it would in real life. So in the next video, or well, next portion, we will be making this so you can turn it on and off. And then the portion after that, we will be making it multiplayer compatible. So you can use this online, and everyone will see it hopefully properly. So I will see you in that one.